Good morning, boys and girls. In our new unit, we're going to be talking about around the world, things that are around the world. We will be reading fiction and nonfiction stories that talk about different places and different countries. The story that I have today is called Postcard Clues. This is a fictional story of a little girl that gets postcards and travels around the world. So here we go, we're opening up. I'm gonna slide over here. My name is Sarah. I live in St. Louis, Missouri. My mom and I are going on a long trip. I say goodbye to my best friend, Sam. Sam says, have fun on your trip. Send me a postcard. I tell her, I'll send you a postcard from every place mom and I visit. I'll put clues on the postcards. You can use the clues to guess what we're seeing where we are. First postcard here. Dear Sam, greetings from the west coast of the United States. Today I visited the second longest suspension bridge in the country. It was kind of scary to be so high up over San Francisco Bay, but the view of the Pacific Ocean was really cool. Can you guess which bridge we saw? Your friend Sarah at the bottom, there's a little chart here with some nonfiction information. The five longest suspension bridges in the United States. Go ahead and take a look at that information. And using her clues, there's a picture here. Where do you think she's visiting? Take a look at that. You can pause the video if you need to. It tells us it was the second largest suspension bridge in the country over San Francisco Bay. Well, the second would be here on the chart, and I know San Francisco's in California, so it would be the Golden Gate Bridge. Dear Sam, we just saw the highest mountain in the United States. It's in Alaska. Most people here call it Denali. The mountain has another name too. Can you guess the mountain's other name? Your friend Sarah, and I'll hold this up so you can see the chart. Four highest mountains in the United States. There's a picture. Now looking at her clues, highest mountain in the United States in Alaska. Looking at this chart at the bottom, some people call it Denali. It has another name too. Can you guess? The highest mountain would be right here, Mount McKinley. Dear Sam, greetings from down under. That's what they call Australia. We went scuba diving and saw the most beautiful fish and plants. They live in more than 1,000 miles of coral off the Northeast coast of Australia. Can you guess where we went scuba diving? Your friend Sarah, there's her map. There's a really pretty picture. So using the clues, scuba diving, beautiful fish and plants off the northeast coast. What do you think? Where was she scuba diving? If you picked here, the Great Barrier Reef, you would be correct. Dear Sam, we're in another country. It has the largest population in the world. Today we're visiting the Great Wall. It's very old. People started building it around 2,700 years ago. Where are we? Your friend Sarah. You can take a look at the chart below. There's a picture. Where do you think she's visiting? If you said China, you would be correct. Dear Sam, we are at a huge lake. It's so big that it's called a sea. In fact, it's the largest lake in the world. It borders countries in Europe and Asia. What lake are we visiting? 
your friend, Sarah. There's the chart. Four largest lakes in the world. It's called a sea. It borders countries in Europe. What do you think? If you pick the Caspian Sea, you would be correct. Dear Sam, buongiorno. That's the way we say good day here in Italy. Today we're visiting a volcano near the city of Naples. The ancient city of Pompeii was buried when this volcano erupted more than 2,000 years ago. Can you guess what volcano it is? Your friend, Sarah. Remember, you can always pause if you wanna take a look at the text or the pictures. If you chose down here, Vesuvius, you'd be correct. Dear Sam, now we're visiting a province in eastern Canada. This province is a peninsula. The name of this province means New Scotland. We're having fun sailing around the Bay of Fundy and whale watching. What province are we visiting? Your friend. <laughs> Sarah. So it tells us it's on the eastern part of Canada. It's a peninsula, which is a piece of land that juts out, surrounded by water on three sides. They're sailing in the Bay of Fundy. So here's my peninsula would be Nova Scotia. Dear Sam, this is your last postcard. I'm in a city in the United States. The latitude is about 38 degrees. The longitude is about 90 degrees. Come find me. I'll be waiting. Your friend, Sarah. There's a picture of the map. So latitude about 38 degrees, longitude 90 degrees. Where do you think she ends up? Chicago or St. Louis here, the Great Arch. It's actually a little south of Chicago. In closing, she ends with, hi Sarah. Sam calls running up to my door. You're home, just like the clues in the postcard said. Here's a picture of all of her postcards. All of the places that she visited around the world. The Golden Gate Bridge, Mount McKinley, the Great Barrier Reef, the Great Wall of China, Mount Vesuvius, how neat, Nova Scotia, the Great Arch, so she visited a lot of really neat places. Something that you can do on your Chromebook would maybe be to do a little research and type in some of these places and see what other information you can find. For example, if you searched the Great Barrier Reef, what information could you find about what type of sea life might live there? Can you scuba dive? Do they have sharks? Or the Great Wall of China, that's another really interesting one. You can actually see that from space. So maybe today, take some time and do some research on these fun places around the world. Have a great day, everybody.